Hi, I'm going to teach you how to make a ferret hammock, a really simple one out of um, a pillowcase string, and that's it actually. Um, you'll need a pillowcase, string, and scissors. Now what you want to do is take your pillowcase and fold it in half, just like this. Snickers, little piece. Okay. And then once you take the that oh, by the way, there's no sewing involved here. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna take the corners and make sure they're even. You're gonna take one corner and you're gonna take the scissors. You're gonna just this and then you're going to cut a little slit for the string. Bear, don't get a set. Bear. Okay. Now there's a little slit. I don't know if you can see this. Right there. Okay. So you're going to do that with all four corners. Okay, once you have all four corners with a slit in them, you are going to take your string. I just have some string that I had laying around the house and it has knots in it because I think I just tied different string together at once. <laughs> um, okay, that's sturdy. And you take it and you're going to need four pieces of string obviously. So I'm going to take my string and I'm going to fold it in half. Cut it. Fold in half again. Cut it. Okay, sorry about that. Now, you are going to have four strings, and you are going to take the strings and put them into the slots that you cut earlier. Band it. Now, you don't want to use a lot of string where you tie it right here, but you want to make sure it's it's secure. Now, I'm going to do this. Let's see. I'm gonna fold that corner down right there. See how there's a sharp corner? Fold that down. Put the string over. Tie it. Make sure it's tied really super tight. Then put another tie to make it a double knot. Make sure it's super tight again. And if you really want to make it secure, you may put a third knot. It's not necessary, but if, if you want it to be more secure, if you feel that's unsecure, which is the two knots, you may do that. Okay, then you can tie up the excess string, like that. Then I keep this little piece of string hanging right there to tuck underneath here. Now, you put the string like this on all four corners. You will now have um, what looks like this, a square hammock with four secure strings on the corners. See? Okay. Now you will notice that um, since you use the pillowcase that there's these openings right here right here and right here. You may sew those if you like to sew. <laughs> I don't really like to sew. Plus my boys like to sometimes climb in there. Um, okay, as for hanging your ha new hammock, you will take the strings and 
individually wrap them around the wires in your cage at the top. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, and it'll be like you'll wrap it around the wire like that. And you'll adjust all of them to make sure they're at the same level and then double knot them or triple knot them. However, I personally tied mine like five times. But, um, okay. And that's pretty self explanatory because you want to make sure, though, that you have it all at one level or else it won't be too comfy. Okay, now you have your own homemade ferret hammock without spending $18 on the store-bought one. <laughs>